Hello and welcome to History Pod. Today's episode has been chosen by Eric Dickerson, who supports the History Pod podcast on Patreon. If you enjoy the daily podcast, please consider supporting it yourself with a small monthly donation at patreon.com forward slash history pod. If you don't want to donate, then please consider leaving a rating or a review on iTunes or Stitcher. On the 4th of August 1944, RAF Flight Officer T.D. Dean became the first Allied jet pilot to achieve a combat victory when he flipped over a Nazi German V-1 Doodlebug flying bomb with his Gloucester Meteor jet fighter. The V-1 was specifically designed for terror-bombing civilians and had first been used on the 13th of June 1944. The RAF began to investigate ways to intercept and destroy the Nazis' new weapon and soon found that they could be tipped over by positioning an aircraft's wing to within six inches of the V-1's wing. This manoeuvre used the changing airflow of the interceptor's wing to force the V-1 upwards, confusing the flying bomb's gyroscope and resulting in it diving into the ground before reaching its target. The first aerodynamic flip manoeuvre was performed by Major R. E. Turner on the 18th of June, using a North American P-51 Mustang. The following month, Number 616 Squadron of the RAF received the first ever Gloucester Meteor jet planes. This new aircraft, equipped with Sir Frank Whittle's revolutionary turbojet engines, could reach speeds in excess of 400 miles per hour and placed it well within reach of the average speed of the V-1. The hope was that the new Meteors would be able to shoot the flying bombs down using their 20mm cannons, but these guns had a habit of jamming. On the 4th of August, Flight Officer T.D. Dean experienced a problem with his Meteor's cannons as he approached a V-1. He consequently resorted to the tipping manoeuvre and successfully sent the bomb off course. It's believed to have crashed on farmland near Headcorn in Kent, where shrapnel said to be from the explosion can be detected deep inside the trunk of a nearby oak tree. The destruction of this V-1 marked the first ever kill for an RAF jet plane. 